Good. I'm used to doing it. We do the press at the beginning, and I'm so much more energetic, and now I'm kind of like, I need coffee or something. <laughs> but for you, you're going to ask me questions that are going to get me excited. Right? <laughs> right. What was and great was being able to see it. Did you see it? Premiere, yes. Oh, yes. Great. All of you saw it? Yes. Most of you? Some of you? Okay. I did not get things, to see it. One of the things that struck me. April 30th. One of the things that struck me is I actually have not really seen show oh, really? until today. Okay. And it felt like a great entree into the show for something Yeah. I didn't feel like I'm missing out. Yeah, no, I think that's first of all that's a fantastic uh, thing to say to me because of course we want new people to come and we understand, you know, in this world that we live in where it's possible to binge things, sometimes you say, Well I really want to I really want to watch the Americans, which I hear is amazing. But there's six seasons of television. That's a commitment. You need time and and you know it's hard to pick up a show like that in like the hundred in season six. But the story that we created, I think, is a real breaking point. It's a real change. Everything is different. It's a new world. It's a new. Everybody up on the stage said it today. It's a new. It feels like a new show. So I do think you could probably pick it up, figure it out pretty quickly. Who hates who? Who loves who? Who's had sex with who? And whatnot. And then back and see the rest if you want later. For sure, that's great. Well, it, it's funny because it's similar, certainly, in that our heroes land on a new planet, right? Um, and there's definitely some sort of like visual callbacks, door opening, seeing the new world. They wanted to step out together this time instead of Octavia going first. Miller has this sort of sassy line about anybody have anything better than we're back bitches, which is one of my least favorite lines that I've ever written. Um, but, you know, it was also a chance. I, I feel like the pilot episode was not uh, real in, um, representative of what the show ultimately became. I mean, it was very different. We were still trying to figure out, you know, would the CW let us go as dark as we eventually went? And the answer, of course, was yes. And so I think roughly, I've said this before, but roughly episode four of season one, Hanging Murphy, Charlotte jumps off the cliff, spoilers. Um, it's kind of when we found our, our, our tonal groove, anyway. Um, and so this was an opportunity to be able to like do it again the way I wish we could have the first time. You know what? What was it? I mean, it seems like it was like, very challenging. And like, I mean, last season was great. So how do you talk last season, you know, with this season, you know, as far as all the stuff that happened last season? Like yeah, well, I mean, I feel like that every year. I'm like, oh, shh, how are we going to, like, we just blew up the world again. You know, what are we going to do for an encore? Um, but for me, anyway, I always have approached it as, oh, you want to sit with me? No, just photo bombing me. Rejection. Um, I've always approached it as a new movie every year. A new book, you know, obviously we haven't referred to it that way until this time, which is, I think, you know, saying a lot in the sense of if every season is as different as it is, and this is a new book, imagine how different this season is. So we really, like I retooled the writer's room, I, 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 some people left because they had other jobs, other people, I just wanted to bring in some sci-fi uh, voices, and it was just time to... To, to change a lot, and, and we did. The colors are different, the look is different, we have a new producing director, like we really tried hard to, for me anyway, like success or failure is, do you believe you're on another planet? It's not a planet, by the way, it's a moon, which we all know now if we've seen the thing, but do you believe you're not in Kansas anymore? And that's a hard thing to do on a TV budget. I hope that we did it, you know? But uh, that's something that I was like cracking the whip hard on everybody all season long to remember. <laughs> you've got to make them believe. Anyway, I don't know if I answered the question. <laughs> what was the question? impressive? I think just like the one more question. You mentioned the planet, right? Like blowing a planet, and in the trailer they say like yeah, they got yeah. they blew up their own planet, and now they're taking ours. Right. So can you really call them like the good guys anymore? Can we still be rooting for them? No. Like they really have actually been. No, she's planets. a genocidal maniac. Look at her. Who, me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they're not the good guys. There are no good guys, really. I mean, we said that, obviously, to death. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they come with that to this new world. And there is a world in place and a society that's 
for all intents and purposes, we can't talk much about it, but that's working. And will they allow these guys into their world is a big question. Yeah, especially once they kind of realize what we've done yeah. to Ooh. the last world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he real Russell realizes that there's rapists and, well, no rapists, but there's murderers and uh, thieves and criminals up there asleep, too. Are they going to invite them in? Do they believe in rehabilitation? You know? uh, that's something that you have to grapple with as the leader of this new society. Do I want to bring in this, you know, do I want to be a good guy? I don't know. I do. Yeah. Well, you do. I do. You do. Clark's journey this season is she really, really wants to do better. She wants in to order to, like, Montaigne Harper, like, giving us this brand new chance, I think, you know, it's, it's really important to her. So, we'll see how that goes. Well, I mean, I think from beginning to end, you want that. Like, of course, there are huge barriers obstacles. That we yeah. Can't just... I'm gonna take Jason from you. All right, Thank you, you. Guys, you guys have each other. You've got me. Yeah. Hi. 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 Right, I'll uh, take over this warm seat here. So, speaking of like the redemption tour, it seems like you've still got some making up to do. Friends, so, to yeah. regain trust. What's that journey gonna be like for you? Um, I think you know it's. For Clark, she really just wants a fresh start. I mean, you know, this kind of happens every season where she's like, okay, this time we're going to do it right. And, uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily work out that way. But it is especially important to carry on Monty's legacy, which is, you know, he says in, in the last episode of the last season that they really lived a good life, a peaceful life, the two of them on the ark and, uh, oh, you know, on the, on the ring. And when they uh, when they had Jordan, it, it became more happy, and, and they didn't want to ruin that when we all woke up. <laughs> so, so they chose to to uh, not go to sleep, and I think Clark can see that, and she really wants it to be um, a fresh start and something really special. So, are we going to see any kind of conflict between you and? And your character Maddie this season? Yeah, there is. I mean, I, I, I'm sure that, you know, in, in the preview you saw a little bit of the Dark Commander that is kind of grappling with her in her head. And, uh, that's something that is beyond Clark's knowledge and something that she really struggles with because it's like she's fighting a demon that we can't see, you know. Um, there's not much more I can say about about that, but it definitely uh, it drives a bit of a nail into it, into their relationship. Are you going to have any like clapback um, Murphy this season? Because I like better. <laughs> um, yeah, I think one thing I love about this uh, season is like Murphy's kind of gone back to just saying what he, how he feels, what he thinks. You know, he's gotten that edge back, and uh, Clark's also got a bit of an edge and she's not having it so they do like get at each other and it's it's fun to watch like it's not a bad Hello. thing it's just like you know it's a bit of a funny <laughs> yes yeah i think I'm, i mean there, there's a huge rift at the very beginning of this um between Clark and most of the other characters, I think Bellamy's the only one who's really understanding everything that she's done and gone through. Um, so it's a pretty lonely pursuit for, for Clark in, the, in the, the first few episodes. And she kind of she's trying to make the rounds to everyone to to make peace and to, um, hope. Like she just hopes they understand what, why she did what she did. Some will take it better than others. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like uh, Clark and Russell will have a complicated relationship. Is how it's been described. What can you tease about that? Um. Oh gosh, that's dangerous territory for me. <laughs> um, uh, as the actor talking in front of seven cameras. Um. <laughs> yeah, it, it is very complicated, and it and it it, got, it runs very deep into you know. Um, the history of Sanctum and also the, the history of, the, of our Earth and, you know, the, the, these two leaders who come together to negotiate living in peace and, um, I mean, all hell breaks loose, but it is, I, I hope, pretty amazing to watch. <laughs>
watching plenty of uh, the season. Yes. Anything in particular that was just like, oh my god, are we really going to do this? Oh, so many things. So many things that I really was not uh, equipped for. Actually, like things that I, I have to add a lot to my skill set as an actor to kind of pull this off. Hopefully, I did pull it off. Um, yeah, it was it was really tricky, and I can't say anything about it otherwise it'll spoil it. But yeah, you're gonna see a very different side of me. <laughs> That's for sure.